Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at some of the games coming out for the Switch in this upcoming week. In terms of dates, we'll be going from the 3rd of September up until the 9th, and as we always do, we'll look at any games first of note that are already out but may not have made one of these videos for whatever reason before looking at the week in hand. So which games are coming out for the Switch this week? Well, let's find out. We'll begin by looking at a game from the sponsor of today's video, and that's White Day, a labyrinth named School, which releases this week on the 8th. This is a first-person Korean horror game set in a high school after new student Lee Hin Min sneaks into the school on the eve of the gift-giving holiday White Day to leave a box of chocolates for the girl he likes. Things don't go to plan though, and he finds himself being stalked by the murderous janitors that patrol the hallways, as well as an otherworldly and sinister threat that you'll need to try and overcome on the way to finding out exactly what has happened here. This is a reimagining of the notorious horror game first released in 2001 and includes all new visuals and audio effects, a new playable character, reimagined ghosts and special endings. There is intense cat and mouse gameplay as you try to avoid being seen by the janitors, turning out lights, creeping along quietly and attempting to hide if spotted before it's too late. There are 20 ghosts, each with their own ghost story to be collected, detailing their chilling and often tragic origins, and you'll be collecting key items, solving puzzles and managing your inventory in classic survival horror fashion. There is an adjustable difficulty setting with hints provided at lower levels and more scares at higher, plus 10 possible endings to try and discover, and over 30 additional costumes included in this version for the various characters. As I mentioned, it releases on the 8th and will sell for £24.99, or your regional equivalents, some of which have been at the bottom of your screen as I speak. I've been playing this game for the last few nights and we will have a full video releasing on this game early next week, so do keep an eye out for that. Just one game for those already out, and this one is called Ooblitz. This is a very charming mix of farm life sim and monster collecting slash battling, although the battles take place via dance-offs. You must maintain your farm, growing crops, talking to locals and selling your produce, all the while finding and trying to recruit the titular Ooblets that live within the world. To recruit them, you'll need to beat them in a dance-off and winning against a rival leader will see them give you a seed to grow in your garden to acquire their Ooblet type. We've reviewed this game, so click the card in the top right-hand corner for the full details, and it has a 33% discount up until the 7th of September. Let's move on to the games coming out this week, and the first is Disney Dreamlight Valley. The blurb says you'll be discovering rich stories while building the perfect neighbourhood alongside Disney and Pixar heroes and villains. It goes on to explain that this is a hybrid between life sim and adventure game, with quests, exploration and activities to undertake. Reading between the lines, because the blurb is very long, there's a story revolving around a threat called the Forgetting being cast upon the land, and you need to unlock the stories of old to save the day, but there's also a big emphasis on decorating your home, creating your own designs to make outfits, and exploring the various environments based on numerous movies and characters. It's going to sell for £24.99 and it is out on the 6th of September. We also have Temtem, which describes itself as a massive multiplayer creature collection adventure. You seek adventure in an airborne archipelago, catching Temtem, battling other trainers, and you can also join a friend's adventure via online. The story campaign has you journeying across six islands, and you can join forces with a friend anytime and work together, facing off against Temtem leaders, fighting alongside your friend in dual battles, and whilst playing online, you'll see the other tamers in your game from around the world. On top of this, you can customise your character and house, and it all sounds pretty interesting, and I do like that low poly art style. It's also out on the 6th, and it will cost £39.99, or your regional equivalent. Then we have Circus Electric, which is, and I'll need to take a breath for this one, a story-driven RPG tactics and circus management game with a steampunk twist. Set in an alternate history London where residents are mysteriously turning into vicious killers, the Circus Electric's performers are the only ones that can save the city. 
There are 15 playable archetypes such as strongmen, fireblowers, clowns and escape artists and you'll need to assemble the most ideal combination and use the character's respective tactical strengths to fight enemies in turn-based battles. Aside from this though, the show must go on and you must also build the circus up to its former glory, training new performers, increasing their skills and making money. I do love the creativity that goes into some games in terms of their premise and this sounds so delightfully over the top. It's out on the 6th and it will cost £17.99. For Heroes in the Ring There's just no beating the Circus Electrique. The next game is called Tower Princess, which is a 3D roguelike platformer about a normal day in the life of a knight. You are taking on a dragon in a castle full of procedurally generated dungeons, and you can choose the weapon that best suits your ability, being able to upgrade it along the way. It has a very interesting art style to it, looks great to be perfectly honest, and the blurb mentions that its inspirations include classic adventure games, 3D platformers, and of course that old chestnut, Dark Souls. It will sell for £15.49 or your original equivalent and it releases on the 8th. With randomly generated dungeons. Find and free all the princesses kidnapped by the evil dragon and challenge him in the end. Then we have BPM Bullets Per Minute which is a rhythm first person shooter where you play as a Valkyrie repelling the forces of the underworld from invading Asgard. Here, all of your actions and the actions of your enemies are tied to the beat of the music. Enemies perform a dance-like attack and you'll be double jumping, dashing, rocket jumping and bunny hopping to evade your opponents. Your goal is to reach the end of randomly generated dungeons, collecting weapons, abilities and items and you must defeat 7 bosses in order to then reach the final boss. Another very interesting idea and again a lovely art style, it's going to cost £19.99 but there is 10% off of that price up until the 21st of September. Also out next week is The Hand of Glory. This adventure game is set all around the world as you attempt to unfold a century old mystery. You play as Lazarus Bundy, a detective who takes on the case of a kidnapped person to try and save his career and reputation after a very public failure in the past. You'll be exploring various environments and solving puzzles in what equates to around 15 hours of gameplay and it will cost £15.29. Satan's eyes for crying out loud. And now you want to stop because you're Bicycle is broken? I prefer the term. Injured. The penultimate game for the week is Cat Maze, a Metroidvania with some RPG elements. You play as Alesta, a sorceress on a quest that will take her through gloomy marshes, quaint villages, and deep forests, battling mythical beasts. It also says that there are a host of side quests with the completion of these determining how the adventure ends. The world created was inspired by Slavic mythology and the game was developed by just one person. It uses a pixel art style but I love the use of colour especially in some of the backgrounds and it's going to cost £9.99 or your regional equivalent and again it comes out on the 8th. And finally for the week, the big one as far as a fair number of people will be concerned, it's Splatoon 3. Nintendo's hit series gets a third iteration as you partake in intense turf wars online. This third entry adds new moves to help you dodge attacks or cover more ground and there is the new bow weapon and new special weapons such as the scuttling crab tank. I must say I am quite surprised to see the third entry of this series join the second on the Switch. It's a move that Nintendo very rarely play when it comes to their IPs, but it is completely understandable seeing as how the franchise has really taken off over the years since the first game released on the Wii U back in 2015. We were invited to a preview event for this game, we have a video available of that if you want to give it a watch, link is in the top right hand corner and the game will release on the 9th of September.
So there you have it, another week of Nintendo Switch releases. Which of these games will you be picking up? Please do let us know in the comments section. I'm sure Splatoon 3 will be the big one, but was there anything else there that caught your attention? Another big thank you to the sponsors of today's video. Don't forget their game White Day is out this week. And as I said, we will have a full video on it next week. So please do give that a watch when it drops. Also, if you are looking for eShop credit, you can use our website switchup.gg. You can get your eShop cards from there and doing so does help the channel out, which is very much appreciated. There's also a link down there to Play Asia if you are looking to import any games. Use the link and then use the code stated and you can get yourself 5% off of your order. A quick thank you to our Patreons as always for your continued support and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care and until next time, happy gaming.